this is a story we've heard many, many times but, and seen very, very different versions. I mean, what was your kind of initial response to it and why you wanted to tell this story in the way that you've told it? Well, it's classic and it's timeless and there's a reason for that. It's because it's about something fundamental, I think, about you know, humanity and, and it's not just about, about Christmas, it's about the way human beings are with each other. So there's something in there that's enduring, so I didn't want to lose that and I wanted to get access to that. But um, I think when Dickens was writing, there was less of an imperative to, to ask why a character is like that, what, what made Scrooge into Scrooge. So, but there are clues and implications within the text as to what happened to him to make him like that. So I've tried to do like a forensic examination of the text and find things within it that give me permission to explore possibilities about what happened to Scrooge, why is he like that. We've seen, uh, so saying to your director about, and it's not linked in any way, but it's sort of the, the Joker movie where we've seen something that we know very familiar but made very differently and given a different slant and taken it in different directions. And this is, it seems very similar to that in the sense that you've taken it to different directions. Was that something that you wanted to do, that you thought there's room here to, to do something that hasn't been done before? Yeah, I mean, the last thing I wanted to do was to um, deliberately uh, change what was there or stray too far from what's there because I think everything that I've done has a tap root within the text. Um, and I hope people will see it and then go back to the text and have a look and, and see where that possible concept came from. Um, but there's nothing um, finer than to be able to take a piece of work like this and play and have fun. I mean, it may not look like fun on the screen, but it is fun for me. Uh, to be able to um, explore some of the things that Dickens put in there. And what's great about this, of course, is it's a short story and this is three one hours, so you have got room to expand on things that are there. You've got a great cast as well, headed by, by Guy. Why, what made him perfect for this? Because you've worked with you know, Tom Hardy and Cillian Murphy over the time. What made Guy kind of perfect for this particular role? Well, I wanted a Scrooge who didn't look like Scrooge, because you know, people don't necessarily look like their souls. Um, and so I wanted someone who was good-looking, attractive, in the prime of life, so that the question is even more profound. Why is he like this? He could have a really good life. You know, if he's an old man, uh, with straggly hair and, and, and gravy down his shirt, then you think, well, look, that's, who, that's obviously who he is. But if it's someone like this, the question is really, uh, you know, has got to be asked, why are you like this? And just finally, as a question, this is a, a very personal question. I really enjoyed your movie, Serenity, even though you've, you, you know, whatever happened with the movie, happened with the movie. Do you look back with your movies like that with regret, or do you just enjoy that they, they go out into their track field? Because I thought it was, you know, in a sea of these superhero movies, it was a really refreshing, fun tale. I mean, do you, have you taken stuff away from that, it, it, the positive and the negative? Oh, God, no. I mean, I only take the positive, because I think it's great. It, it's like when, if you have a kid who's bullied at school, you love it even more, you know, you're right. And I think it's, I, I know what it's about. I know the questions that it's asking. I know the depths of it. Um, and we live in a time where maybe that's not what people, well, it's what people want, but maybe it's not what reviewers necessarily want. I'm, I should care more, but I don't. Well, I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!